Hey guys, what's up? It's Kate Jones coming at you with another video. Um, it's been a long time since I've done a video on my YouTube channel. Guys, I have been so busy. If you're, it's your first time to my channel, welcome. My name is Kelsey and um, I love to do life talk videos and I also love to play old school RuneScape and things like that and video games and I'm a huge Star Wars fan. So, but yeah, let's, let's get into things, you know. I was really inspired to make this video because uh, I got my undergraduate degree in finance and right now school has encompassed my entire life and I'm working on my master's degree in accounting and I'm wanting to become a certified public accounting and I'm thinking, dang, my whole life has been consumed by this for the past six months and I, saw, I thought back and like I was thinking about it and I was like, it's because I want it to. I want it to consume my life right now because it's what I want to do. And I know in the future it's going to pay off. And then it got me thinking, do people need a college education to be successful? Do you know? And I thought that and I thought, I'm going to make a video on it. And guys, I'm going to be completely straightforward with you. I'm not going to give you the answer at the end of the video. I'm going to give it to you right now. Do you need a college education to be successful? No. <laughs> and uh, so I'm going to get into that. What is success? Well, my definition of success may be different than yours. So let's get into that right now. In my eyes, I think to be successful is to be happy. Um, and I think that our society has attributed the definition of success to be financially, to have a lot of monetary value, basically to be have a lot of money <laughs> or be famous. They see that as what is attributable to success. And that's just not true. Um, I think to be successful, if you are happy, you are successful. You know, we've got 8 billion people in this world now almost. And I think very few of us are happy. Very few. And then you bring in, well, Kelsey, can't money bring happiness? Absolutely it can. But that isn't what solely makes us happy. And it can bring happiness, but that doesn't mean it will bring happiness. Does that make sense? So let's, let's get into this. Um, I don't consider success the same thing as financial stability. So if you're happy, you are successful in your life and I'm proud of you and that's what you should always achieve for. We only live once and you should want to be happy, okay? Um, but financial stability is a different thing. Some people need to be financially stable to be happy. Some people don't. They can live on the streets and they're still happy. Most people need to have a roof over their head and their bellies full to be happy. Um, and to have medical care and things like that. But not all people. We cannot compare apples to peanuts because people are so different. Um, so yeah, let's get into that. I know what will make me happy and my goals. But that's completely different from my next door neighbors, you know. And that's why that we shouldn't judge. We should just support people. What makes them happy, okay? So, um, you know, another question is, okay, well, will a college education provide you financial stability? Ask yourself that question. Do you think so? I say no. Not in general. I mean, I wouldn't say in general. I would just say no, it doesn't bring financial stability. Because it depends on the person and people's mindset. There are plenty of kids that go get their education and they go there and they party it up at university and they don't really study and they just try to get through their education because their parents told them so. And I know some of y'all watching this are guilty for that. <laughs> y'all are guilty. Y'all know, y'all know who you are. Um, so they go, they go to college and they just... <laughs> try to get the best grades they can without studying and then they party it up and then they get out of college and they don't know what to do. They just went to college because their parents told them to. 
And I think that's the mistake parents make is a lot of parents are like, you need to go to college. You don't have a choice. You are definitely going to college. I think they're a little bit more worried about their image than their kid's image. And also who cares what other people think? But so yeah, so let's get into that. So like I said, people who don't really utilize their education, they come out of college and they just don't even know what to do with their life. And they stay at home with their family because that's what makes them happy, not doing what what they were working working on in their education. So for example, let's say they got their degree as a chemist or chemistry, and then they get out and they just went to college and did chemistry because they told their parents they were gonna to go to med school because they wanted to make their parents proud. And then they graduate and they're like, I don't really wanna to go to med school because I don't really love school and I don't wanna go through organic chemistry again. So they stay at home. And then they don't get a job because they don't know what they want to do. There's so much pressure. They have not utilized their education. Did their degree provide financial stability? Not really. But are they happy being at home? Yeah. So are they successful in my eyes? Yeah, they're still trying to figure out their life. And they had a lot of pressure from their parents. And um, that's not necessarily the kid's fault. It's just hard. Um, it's hard being a young adult. And I think parents who encourage their kids to make their own decisions is beautiful. So if you, there are plenty of people who don't wanna to go to college and that's fine. What if your kid wants to go to trade school and become an electrician? What if your kid loves animals and they don't wanna be a veterinarian because they don't wanna invest in six years of school even if you pay for their education, but they go work at the zoo and they work their way up and they're just really good at what they do. So many parents are so quick to kick, to kick their kids out of the house and be like, get a job, go to school, get out of here. What is that, man? Our whole life is family. We just, we want, family is everything. Why are you trying to kick your kids out that fast? Shouldn't you want them to come home and spend time with them? I mean, what is that kind of stigma? I don't know what this culture has, has come down to. I would tell you, my parents in particular never told me I had to go to college. They told me I'd like you to go to college, but you don't have to. But they knew I wanted to go to college, so they didn't really have to push me. They knew that like, I am very hardworking and I have a lot of drive and I wanted to go to college because in my eyes, I wanna have a lot of money. <laughs> That's terrible. That's what I want. I want to be. I want to be successful in my eyes. In my eyes, it's having a lot of money, and not to everyone else, but to me, I want to have a lot of money, and I want to be able to pr provide for my friends and family financially, and that will make me happy. Does that make everyone else happy? No. Should I start assuming that of other people? No. Does college? Does that mean it will provide you financial stability? No. But it did for me because it's what I wanted to do and I utilized my education. And I got a job and worked for an account as an accounting supervisor and it was great. And now I'm going back, getting my master's degree because I wanna open up my leverage to work up in the world. But the, that coming, with that being said, it takes up all my time. All I do is study and learn accounting because I wanna be good at it. And I wanna, I wanna pass the CPA. I want to make a lot of money and be good at what I do. I'm proud of myself. And to me, I'm happy. And that is success. Now, are some days, do I just break down in tears because I'm overwhelmed and this stuff is so hard? Absolutely. But I like to push myself like that. Because once I get out of it, I'm like, dang, I did it. I did it. I'm so strong. I'm so smart. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever I tell myself. That's success because like that, I like that high, that hard work and drive. And I put my soul into it. But we have to understand that a college edu education in general doesn't provide that financial stability. It's the person. Do they utilize their degree? Do they go and work hard and apply that to life? So when you get your education, do you go looking for jobs and you show, this is what I learned. I was a bagger in college while I went to school. This is what I learned when I was bagging groceries. And then this is what I learned in my education. And this is what I'm wanting to do. 
that shows drive and motivation. And that, like I said, there's some people that just get their education and they just feel like they have to get a job to impress their family. And, and that's not okay. You know, you should do what you want to do. What, do you need financial stability to be happy? Ask yourself that. Do you want to work hard to make a lot of money? Or are you fine making the bare minimum and living with your family? Does that make you happy? If it does, do it. I'm going to tell you what, some people are satisfied living with their family, being there for, for their nieces and nephews, and that is fine. Do what makes you happy. I'm not like, there's no sadistic, there's no condescending message to this. It's a genuine video. Is stop doing what everyone else is telling you to do and do what you want because everything in life will work out. So yeah, me and my fan wanted to bring y'all some insight because not all of us grew up with people who were very supportive of us, supportive of us. And the truth is, no one's better than the other person, all right? We're just people trying to live our happy life with the, the little bit of time that we have here on earth. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I'm hoping to do some streaming over Christmas break for RuneScape and have some fun on Twitch. Below, I have linked my personal page to my Instagram, and um, I have also linked my work page on my Instagram, and I hope y'all are doing well. Thank you so much for watching. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. And feel free to subscribe to be notifi notified for when I do future videos. Thanks, guys.